Let's take a look at how we can multiply the square root of x times the square root of x. And we're going to look at three different ways to do it. The first way I like to do it is just put some numbers in. Try to see the pattern here. So I'm going to choose square root of 4 times the square root of 4. So I'm saying x is 4. What do I end up with? The square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times 2, that gives me 4. So I'd expect the square root of x times the square root of x would just be x. Let's try some other numbers here, though. Let's choose a number that ends up giving us a whole number when we take the square root. Let's say 16. The square root of 16 is 4 times the square root of 16. 4 times 4, that equals 16. So the pattern seems to hold. We can try other numbers here. Let's take a look at another way to do this. We can also think of the square root of x as x to the 1 half power. And since we have two of them, we could just square that. So x to the 1 half times 2, we'd multiply these together. 1 half times 2, that equals x to the 1 power, which just equals x, which is what we found before. So that makes sense. One last way we can figure this out. This is the power rule for exponents. Really helpful. It says if we have a to the m times a to the n, we're just going to add these together. a to the m plus n. So we're using x here x to the 1 half, because we said x to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of x, times x to the 1 half, that equals x to the 1 half plus this 1 half here. 1 half plus 1 half equals 1, so we get x to the first, which just equals x, which is what we found the two previous ways we did this. This is Dr. B looking at how to figure out the square root of x times the square root of x. Thanks for watching.